actress is playing her most important role as an animal activist and best friend animal society ambassador. Her latest project is a documentary series, The Canine Condition. Jacqueline Pignola poured her heart and soul into this project. She's joining us now. Jacqueline, it's so good to have you. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I know all about Wish TV, by the way. Oh, hey, yeah. Nice. How so? Oh, yeah, Nathan Lowe, the dog, Indie with Dog Whisperer. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right with our friends in the morning. Oh, you know, we, oh, we love the dogs I love them. Here. And he always has such wonderful advice. I tune in or I catch it on YouTube, however I can get Give me that gold. I know that. Right? that. Yeah, let's we go. We like the gold. Listen, I love that. I think that's a good segue into you telling us a little bit more about your work that you're doing across the country. Yeah. So, you know, um, because I am an actress and I happen to be just having a platform that I can get more people on, um, this personal passion of mine of helping save dogs that, that need homes sort of became um, an everyday thing for me. And I figured I'm going to make a documentary film. I'm in the business. I have access to people, to equipment, to things, right? So I did. And in the last seven years, I put together a documentary series that is now out. Um, we have 14 episodes and we are we have four more to release. So we have 10 out right now. Wow, that's awesome. Jacqueline, tell us about your series, The Canine Condition. So it is titled The Canine Condition, and it's basically a journey that my husband, now my, my seven-year-old, but he was like in, in the womb at the time, oh, wow. um, and our doggies and I took around the country. What I wanted to do is focus on or make a documentary that people want to watch, mm -hmm. not one where they're going to need Kleenex and, you know, not want to look at the images. So it's really um, an empowering and inspiring journey showing the different organizations around the country, a lot of them foster-based volunteer rescues in Arizona, in Georgia, in Texas, in Florida, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Chicago, where else did we go? And Southern California. So I covered as much as I could because we were self-funded to show people how easy it is to help, how easy that. it is to make a difference in your own town, in your own city, whether it's with a rescue or a city shelter. I love this so much. I'm a two-time rescue mama and i just love oh. the fact that you're taking people through this journey even for people who might not be dog people what can people learn from your documentary well here's the thing that that it does even though you might not love dogs you're going to know somebody that does you're going to have a friend a family co-worker that does and having pets really makes us have a level of compassion and empathy that we need as humans today so just from that perspective i think it's a positive for people who may not be animal lovers or maybe allergic to animals but also because it affects communities mm -hmm. we don't want our communities to not be safe you know we don't want the health department to have to be cleaning up you know stray dogs and ill dogs and all that so we learn a lot about why vaccination for pets is important why spay and neuter you know shameless plug here um is important <laughs> and where we can help even if we don't have pets if we can make a donation or do volunteer work um, how it helps the human condition. Jacqueline, you have a long list of career accolades. What's next for you? Oh, well, nowadays it's all supposed to be kept secret, which is just so <laughs> annoying. But um, there is some detective work and some mom work mm. coming uh, in the pipeline. I'll say that for the on-camera characters that I'll be playing. And I'm very excited. You know, I had a nice long run on Bosch, the original series on Bosch on Amazon Prime. And right now I'm just, um, because I was in post and doing the documentary, um, it's entering festivals. So I'm busy with that until um, I pick up with shooting after the summer for some of the, the upcoming roles I'm getting to play. Well, we are rooting for you. You are a friend of the show now. The Canine Condition is streaming on the Primo Network. Jacqueline Pignol, thank you so much. What you're doing thank is you important. Thank you both. And come back anytime. All right. Thanks again. Bye. Thanks, Jacqueline.